Here I am in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France, the city of lights and the best food in the world. Let's go to a specialty store in a fresh market. We're going to make foie gras with sautéed apple. One of the specialty shops I'm going into is Fashan. I'm going to be buying foie gras. Many different types of foie gras. I will be purchasing some now. It's a Saturday morning in Paris. We're at an outdoor fresh market. We're going to be looking for some of our ingredients for our foie gras. We're going to be looking for yellow apples and fresh figs. The figs are absolutely lovely. I'm getting about four or five. And uh, they're nice and rich in color. Uh, go ahead and tell him I need them. I'm standing in the kitchen, in the apartment, where we're staying while in Paris. Now it's not a big kitchen, but I don't think I'm having, going to have any problem making the foie gras appetizer that I'm making. Now, foie gras is the French term for fattened liver of a duck or a goose that has been force-fed large amounts of kernels of corn, and in that process, the liver becomes engorged with, and very fatty, and it improves the flavor and texture. In the specialty stores that I went to throughout Paris, I found that Lafayette Gourmet had one of the largest selections of foie gras. Raw foie gras, processed, uh, the duck, the goose, large display. Um, what we're using today is duck foie gras that has been processed. Uh, it's 1.7 ounces, which will serve about two to four people. Um, and one other thing you need to know, it is very expensive. This cost about $20. We're going to be putting with that an apple and fig compote. Let's head to the stove. I've melted three tablespoons of unsalted butter in a large saute pan. To that, we're adding two golden apples, and I've cut those up, cubed them, and to that, I'm adding the juice of one half of a lime. Let's pour that in. To the apples, I'm adding three small figs that I've cut up into uh, about uh, the size of a quarter. I'm gonna stir that up. To that, I'm adding three tablespoons of sugar. And I will saute this after stirring it for two to three minutes just until the apples are tender. The apples and the figs have cooked two to three minutes just until they're lightly tender. I'm going to put this in a bowl and set aside. To the saute pan, now I'm going to add one cup of apple juice, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, I'm going to cook this on a medium heat, seven to eight minutes, until it reduces to about six ounces. The apple juice mixture has thickened up and it's been reduced in size by half. We're going to be adding that to the compote. Into the saucepan, I've melted one tablespoon of unsalted butter, uh, medium heat. I've divided the foie gras into four equal pieces and um, covered them in breadcrumbs. So let's now put this into our skillet and sear the foie gras two minutes on each side. They've seared on the second side. They look gorgeous. Let's get our appetizer ready to eat. The foie gras uh, I have on um, slices of French bread and I put the compote 
warm compote on top of the foie gras. Um, I w did want to mention that I did put a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon in the compote before uh, I served it. And let's go ahead and start eating it. I'm Jan with Designing Dishes, sitting on this lovely terrace in Paris at the apartment, enjoying the delicious foie gras. Mm -hmm.